Good morning, everybody. It's like 6.30 in the morning. We are gonna go start thoracic. everybody happy Monday uh, like I said I've been on my thoracic surgery rotation I've only been on it for like three days and I really really enjoyed it um, for instance today we were just rounding on maybe three patients and then we get to go home and then tomorrow is a full day full of surgery on the chest and lung so it's been very fun interesting and I have been really really appreciating not only the rest that I get on this rotation but also the surgeries that we do so I'm headed in to just round on a few patients and then um, we can head on back to our home and um, start some studying because I have my in-service exam at the end of the month. Uh, it's called the Absite. Um, every residency has their in-service exam. Mine's called the Absite, um, but it's basically like a three, 200, 300 question test that we have to do uh, once a year to make sure that we are um, learning in our residency so um if you want to see me study that and take on my thoracic surgery rotation then keep on watching Hey guys, so I just came back from work. It was a super quick day. We saw uh, several patients, rounded, wrote notes, removed a test tube, and now I'm back. So I have the rest of the morning and day to do whatever I want. wondering if I ever have issues studying I probably have more issues than most of y'all have with studying and staying concentrated it helps to have some coffee I play some nice study music and then I think about the fact that I'm working with a co-resident another PGY4 general surgery resident is making 99th percentile on all of his practice questions and I'm making 74th percentile and sometimes that's all you need this is a question I'm sure y'all can get right. This is um, my true learn question set for my actual general surgery exam. What characteristic of staph epidermidis helps to reduce antibiotic resistance and mechanical heart valves? And the answer, of course, is biofilm. And that's something that we all learned in medical school. Um, I can actually still remember this exact image from when I was studying my sketchy micro back in 2017. In fact guys, I wanted to pull up the exact video I was thinking of. This is a video I watched in 2017. Seven years later, I still remember it and because of this image here, I remember that staph epidermidis creates biofilms. This is another example. This came up during my thoracic rotation a couple days ago. He asked me what parasite causes mega esophagus that you can sometimes see from people who travel from South America and I remembered that it was chocolate disease from this exact image so if you want to learn things and then also keep it for many many years even when you're a resident like me I think sketchy is absolutely amazing they have a 25% off sale that ends on the 17th on all of their medical plans I definitely would recommend going out and getting that they have tons of different courses including biochem anatomy microbiology farm pathophysiology and they even have some practice tests sketchy is sponsoring this video and they are giving away a 24 month subscription to one of you guys that's perfect for like a second or first year medical student who's going through micro 
farm in their classes, but then is also taking you assembly one and two, because not only will you be prepared for those exams, but you'll be prepared even when you're a resident like me. So if you would like to be entered in the giveaway, stay to the end for the giveaway rules. Only a ton more to go, so let's get going. All right guys, I officially can't study anymore. Let's take a break. Woo. All right guys, I'm back. There was a sale on Bounty and Sherman, so I got some mother load. And whenever I have a bit of study rut, I just make my favorite food as a way to treat myself to study. And um, one of my most favorite foods in the whole wide world is uh, a chicken chipotle burrito from Chipotle. I got the ingredients to make it. There's this guy who has the, apparently the exact ingredients on YouTube. I can link his YouTube down below. Let me make that really quick and then we're gonna spend the rest of the night studying, of course, and tomorrow we have two video-assisted thoracoscopic surgeries to do uh, for people with cancer. So we have to read up on our patients for tomorrow. Y'all, Loki, when I was shopping, there was a $10 off coupon I had that didn't work, so I went and complained and the manager just straight up gave me a $10 bill and told me to go away. about four to six chicken thighs to a gallon to two gallon. We're going to be adding our marinade to the bag there that you can get out of it as possible. We're going to be marinating this overnight or eight hours. It is 10.50. I have work tomorrow. I'm gonna get up at like five in the morning. I definitely could have studied more today and been more productive, but alas, this is just who I am and what I can do. <laughs> I do have to wake up super early in the morning, so let me go ahead and head to bed and uh, I will see y'all in the morning. All right, goodbye everyone. Also, hopefully our chicken will be done marinating. Okay, all right, anyway. All right guys, in the OR with case number one. All right guys, wonderful day of operating, super fun cases. Not only are they pretty fast, but they are very significant, meaning that they really help the patients. I am here by my lonesome with some Diet Coke for fuel, some sushi, and uh, some soy sauce. <gasps> All right, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, the marinating. Not gonna lie, guys, this chicken looks pretty spot on. Y'all, there's so much smoke in the air. This is how you know America's trying to cook. <laughs> Duh! Um, I don't Hey guys, so I'm back from work. Another early day. Today I got to go on the robot and perform thoracoscopic surgery. So that was a lot of fun. So I wish I would have known about thoracic surgery prior to my fourth year and having already applied to fellowships. But, um, oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I turned in my fellowship application last week or a couple of days ago actually. In March is when I will be getting interviews, hopefully. March is also when I'm going to Paris. This is my first package. Ooh. All of this is from Amazon and I can link it all down below. I break and lose my eye protection all the time. I used to buy really, really expensive stoggles, but since I break them all the time, I've, I've switched over to the more affordable Amazon kind. And then you get two for $9, so 
I bought this because I do a lot of studying and drinking smoothies and water in my bed and I never have anywhere to put any of my stuff so hopefully this will help me be more productive while I'm in bed. Good morning everybody. I am here at the coffee shop getting a iced latte and a banana. And uh, today we just have clinic and a bronchoscopy biopsy. Alrighty everyone, I am back home. This week has been amazing. We did thoroscopic chest surgery. We reconstructed a sternum and today we did a endoscopic ultrasound biopsy of uh, some lymph nodes and uh, nodules in the lung. So it has been very interesting, fun, and I can totally see why, you know, cardiothoracic surgery is so competitive and well sought out for. I'm going to go ahead and use this day just as a study day. We're going to do questions. We're going to listen to a uh, behind the knife podcast, and we're going to make amazing food to keep us motivated. Welcome back. This sketch will take you on a journey through South America, following the footsteps of Che Guevara. Yeah. With Che cruising through on his motorcycle. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the night early today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I was able to act as a study buddy or give you any motivation to study for your upcoming courses, classes, and tests. Um, I wish you all the best. Uh, for anybody who wants to enter the 24 month subscription to Sketchy to look at all of their amazing content and retain it for literally seven years like me, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like and subscribe to my channel and follow both of us on Instagram. I'll leave both Sketchy and I's Instagram in the description box below. Then leave a comment saying why you would like to win this two year long subscription to Sketchy. And I really hope you enter because it really is an amazing resource that honestly needs to be available to every medical student in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best in whatever it is that you're tackling at the moment and I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.